To My Grandmother by Frederick Locker Lampson Read for LibriVox.org by Christina Chu To Celebrate Grandparents' Day, 2006 This relative of mine was she seventy and nine. When she died, by the canvas may be seen how she looked at seventeen as a bride. Beneath a summer tree her maiden reverie has a charm, her ringlets are in taste, what an arm, what a waist, for an arm. With her bridal wreath, bouquet, lace, farthingale, and gay falbala, were Romany's lemoning shoe, what a lucky dog were you, grandpapa. Her lips are sweet as love, their parting. Do they move? Are they dumb? Her eyes are blue and beam beseechingly and seem to say, Come. What funny fancy slips from atween these cherry lips whisper me, sweet sorceress in paint. What canon says, I may marry thee? That good for nothing time has a confidence sublime. When I first saw this lady in my youth, her winters had forsooth done their worst. Her locks as white as snow, whence shamed the swarthy crow. By and by, that foul's avenging sprite set his cruel foot for spite near her eye. Her rounded form was lean, and her silk was bombazine. Well, I wot with her needles would she sit, and for hours would she knit, would she not? Ah, perishable clay, her charms had dropped away, one by one, but if she heaved a sigh, with a burden it was, thy will be done. In travail, as in tears, with the fardel of her years, overpassed, in mercy she was born, where the weary and worn are at rest. Oh, if you now are there, and sweet as once you were, Grandmama, this nether world agrees, it will all the better please Grandpapa. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.